cloudy Friday morning. Never fails. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to have rain. How's everybody doing today? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here. Friday morning. Fresh off school bus. Whew. Topic for discussion today. The ill behavior behaved children and young people of today. Do you know that when you hear older people, and we all heard it, they say, back in my day, guess what? It's true. It's true. No matter what it is, it's true. <laughs> so anytime an older person in your life has ever said, oh, back in my day, listen to them. My stress levels this year are higher than they've ever been, ever, probably in my entire life. My almost 52 years of living. Whew. All of this started, my humble opinion, this whole entire attitude, discipline problem, everything started come the 90s early 90s mid 90s whatever you want to say this doesn't mean that everyone followed suit not everyone followed and it didn't catch on as fast with some parts of the country as others but this whole non-disciplinary thing no weapons no paddlings no nothing It has destroyed our country. And we're about three generations in. And you can tell. Because these kids and these kids' parents are part of the problem, the biggest part of it. And they've grown up with this. And it is not getting any better anytime soon. I try to explain it like this. When I was in school, of course you had kids that acted like old jerk-offs. Of course. It's always been around. Everything that we have today has always been around. However, back when I was young, you had like two kids on a bus. That might be a problem. Now, it's like 10 kids on the bus that's a problem. And also the difference being, back when I was a kid, you could whoop kids. You could grab kids up by the hair. You could whoop kids, paddle kids all day long. And it helped. Some kids are stupid and don't help, but for the most part, people don't want to get whoopings. They don't want to get paddlings. Today, what happens? This. I know. I've been in the office with the kids. I've seen it. That does nothing. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares. They care in the moment. Puppy dog eyes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then it's right back to the same stuff. I stop at this one place, and there's four sisters that get on, like 8th grade, 7th grade, probably 3rd grade and kindergarten or something. I don't know, somewhere along them lines. Whew. Whew. Never in my life have I seen siblings like these go at it nonstop, constant. And it's mostly the older girl. Who's the ringleader? She's the biggest problem. She gets on the bus disgusted, face like this. Go on, get out. And she gets off the bus. Go on, get out of my way, you stupid idiot. That's how she looks. That's how she is all the time. 
Just, <laughs> I want to belt that girl. If I was a little girl on that bus or her sister, one of her sisters, I'd beat the crap out of that girl. I mean, she, whew. You wonder why I got sleeping problems? You wonder why I got, you know, <laughs> other problems in my life? It's because some of these kids, man. That ain't all my problem. I'm just saying. They're not helping. We got a problem in this country. I can't speak about the whole world because I don't live there. In this country, we got a problem. Whew. This little girl, she needs to be whooped when she wakes up from bed. She needs to be whooped before she gets on the bus. She needs to be whooped when she gets to school. She needs to be whooped before she gets back on the bus in the afternoon. She needs to be whooped when she gets home and she needs to be whooped before she goes to bed. This is the kind of girl that if the girl, some kids on the bus got tired of her and ganged up on her, I wouldn't say a thing. I would not even, I'd say I didn't see a single thing happen. I've been driving almost 10 years now. I ain't never encountered someone like this, ever. I've never seen someone so miserable, hateful, angry, rude, crude, perverted, gross, disgusting in my life. And we're talking about a little girl. So I called to school this morning Left a message to let him know that I'm having problems again with the same kid. What'll happen? They'll call her into the office, talk to her, call her parents, talk to them. She might get kicked off the bus for a day. Probably not. What'll happen? Nothing. She's not going to get a whooping. Because I'll let them know on the bus if you're my kid you'd be getting a whooping it's illegal to give whoopings we can't get uh, okay i'd still be whooping you <laughs> government wants to take you good raise you go for it if you're my kids you'd be getting a whooping every day just like my kids got when they needed it do i like it nope i felt horrible Still to this day, I think back to a couple of times I whooped my kids. I feel absolutely horrible. But at the time, it was needed. I got whooped as a kid by a mom. I didn't have a dad. I had a mom that had to be a mom and a dad. She didn't have time for stupid. She was too busy working her butt off trying to take care of kids and give us a life. And she was about 110 pounds of nothing. Well, she'd whoop the crap out of you if she had to. Was I a perfect kid? Nope. But there was respect, that's for sure. <laughs> I still did stupid things, but it sure wasn't uh, without thinking, hmm, I'm gonna get the crap knocked out of me. <laughs> Whew. Boy, I'm fired up. These kids, man, the government, parents, grandparents, all of you are to blame. All of you. What do you do, guys? Nothing. There ain't nothing you can do except hope that we can die quickly so we don't have to continue living in this mess. It's absolutely disgusting. It's heartbreaking. You wonder why kids are miserable? Probably because they're not getting discipline. Discipline shows love. It teaches you respect. It teaches you a little bit of fear. See, kids don't fear adults anymore, and they haven't for 25 years. Kids don't fear adults. There's no reason to. What are you going to do, shake your finger at them? Wow, that's going to do a lot.
Boy, if I could just snap my fingers and be a little girl for about a minute, I would take care of the situation. And that little girl wouldn't get on that bus acting like that ever again. Does that sound crazy? Don't care. And when you see when you see it up close and personal, what it's like nowadays, when you see it every day, whew, whew. <laughs> and the thing is, the government's taking over, telling us what we can and can't do with our kids, what we can and can't do with everything. How about each community stand up and take a stand and start taking control of their lives and their kids again and telling the government to screw off? How about we do that? And eventually, the government's not going to have no power over us. <coughs> which they shouldn't have any power over us anyway. If you're a parent, grandparent, some sort of guardian to kids today, and you happen to see this video, please, please discipline your kids, your grandkids, your stepkids, your adopted kids, your foster kids. Discipline them. Because people like us out here that are around them are tired of dealing with it. Everyone, check out my videos. I'm doing a, a deload phase this week. I'm kind of taking it easy on my workouts. Uh, another good old boy pickup truck. You can hear him 10 miles away. <sighs> Today's deadlift day. Going light, still deadlift day. Regular deadlifts from the floor. <sighs> Guys, like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff to the body beat down. Why? Because I'm just a real dude trying to keep it real. <sighs> I'm trying to keep my anger and frustration under control. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. <sighs> See y'all later. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!